Hey, I'm one of the physios at TreatMyAchilles.com. We're an online virtual physiotherapy service helping treat people with all sorts of different types of Achilles problems. We can help you rehabilitate after an Achilles uh, tendinopathy or tendinitis, or we can help you with problems after a tear or a rupture. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the most common exercise that people can find on the internet or get given in regards to strengthening the Achilles and the calf. What I want to do is just go through a few pointers that we commonly see in the clinic where people's technique may need to slightly adjust or things to watch out for that are very common errors when doing these calf raises. So we're going to look at straight leg calf raises to start with. I've got a step and I'm also going to show you on the floor because the principles are the same. What we're looking for is quality. So not just how does it feel, but also how smooth and controlled you can do this movement. So we're looking for slow speed. And the speed is something, again, that your physio may be able to give you differing speeds depending on what you're doing, whether you're going up and down or whether you're biasing the way down. When we're looking at the calf raise, what you want to look for is that you're going straight up with your body onto your toes and straight back down again. Common things we see is people coming forward and using momentum from their body to get them up or using something like a chair or a table or something in front of them to push down on to lift themselves up. So one of the most important things is to look for the straight up and straight down movement. So using a mirror or your phone is something to look for, look at. If we're looking at single leg work, that single leg, we also want to have a look at what you're doing with the rest of your body. So is the rest of your body facing the right direction? We see people slightly rotating to one side. So if you can see that changes what goes on with my hips, with my knees, with my feet and with my arch. So we're looking to keep everything at 12 o'clock. So that is your free leg, this leg in the air, that your heel and your knee are behind you and that you're raising up onto your toes and back down again facing the wall. When we're doing bent leg exercises, we're looking for a knee bend position and that knee bend position is maintained throughout that calf raise. Again, quite commonly, we see people going up and coming down using the quad and the knee to bend and straighten. So it's keeping that knee bent and using that calf muscle to move. 